Hello, today I will be talking about movie review number 888. This is The Boys in the Boat. This is a 2023 movie that is directed by George Clooney. This is from Amazon MGM Studios and Smokehouse Pictures. I saw this movie on December 30th, 2023 at Cinema Oak Ridge Station in SD in Oak Ridge, Ohio. So this is based on the true story of the University of Washington rowing team. And also based on a non-fiction novel published by Daniel James Brown in 2013. So this movie is based on the University of Washington crew that represented the United States and the men's eight at the 1936 Summer Olympic Games that took place in Berlin, Germany. That included the coaches, Boat builder George Poet and the working class student athletes that were involved. But the main student athlete in this movie is rural Joe Rance, who was effectively abandoned by his family and left to fend for himself at a very young age. And this movie takes place during the Great Depression, and Joe Rance is a student at the University of Washington. And he is trying to pay his second half of tuition. So he and he hears about this job that features eight people going to be part of the University of Washington rowing team. And Joe Lance makes the cut. And the rowing team is under Al Obertson, who is played by Joe Egerton in the film. Joe Lance is portrayed by Callum Turner in the film. And so, the movie details Joe Lance and the rest of the athletes that make up the men's eight, including, and then there's also the boat builder, George Poet, and there's also the coach, Al Opitson. And so, this movie basically details the New University of Washington rowing team as how they ended up starting small and not focusing too much on rowing and the uh, duties that come with rowing to being a contender in the 1936 Summer Olympic Games. And this is the team that represented the United States in the men's eight at the Summer Olympic Games in 1936. This was based on a true story, and I really enjoyed it. And so, I like how this movie details the University of Washington rowing team, but I also like how the movie is focused also on Joe Rance, who is just a tallest student trying to pay for his tuition. He hears about this job. Uh, for the University of Washington rowing team, in this part, in this the cut, he he becomes one of the eight people on the team. And I also like how the movie displays him having some issues with his abandoned family, and how he's trying to deal with those issues. But at the same time, he finds someone in class that. He be members a long time ago, and let's just say that he is still still has a little crush on her, as she does to him. Her name is Joyce. In the movie, Joyce is played by Hedwig Robinson, and I also we I also like the other members of the team. And how each of them play in the Portman War into becoming the men's eight for the New University of Washington rowing team. As sometimes they don't see eye to eye, but they eventually become a team and they work together as a team. The only question is can they be well enough to beat the other contenders? in the Olympic Games as far as rowing. Because that has never happened to them before, them winning the gold medalist at the Olympic Games. But I thought it was a pretty good movie, and I really like true stories that features people 
trying to be a part of something like a sporting event and they achieve spectacular and great things ahead. And this movie is like that. Now, I won't say what happens, but I will say that throughout the movie, well, at the beginning, the coach, Al Obitson, does make his suggestions on who the men's aid are and has some doubts within parts of the movie, but then at the end of the movie, he realizes that this is the aid that he was looking for. And, yeah, I thought it was a pretty good movie. I, movie, I definitely recommend it. So that's my movie review of The Boys in the Boat. Please see you in this movie review. Alright, goodbye.